Okay, so question one of the combined trilogy physics paper, higher tier uh, specimen paper, question one. So, student investigates how length affects resistance of wham. Figure one shows the circuit um, the student used. The student took measurements using meters X and Y. Name the meters. Okay, so X is here. Um, you'd have to place an ammeter here. Ammeters go in series, they measure current. And voltmeters go in parallel uh, and they measure the potential energy difference per coulomb of charge either side of a component or piece of wire in this case. Okay, table one shows the results. So we've got various lengths tried out. They measured, well, they probably calculated the resistance, but they'll have measured the current and the voltage three separate times and they've taken an average. For which length of wire are the readings of resistance the most precise? Okay, so definition of precision is um, that the readings are, if you take several readings, the readings are very, very close together. So we're looking for the readings with the least spread. Okay, so if you have a look from here to here, the highest number is this one. The lowest number is this one. The spread then is 0.07. So that's the spread for that value. Not 0 0.07. Okay. So for the length value 0 0.6, the readings taken, the spread is 0 0.07. The spread for this one 0.37. What's the highest value? We got? the lowest value is that. The highest value is that. The spread is 0 0.05. This one, the lowest value is that, the highest value is that, the spread is 0 0.09, 2.68, all the way up to 2.77, oh, so this one, the spread is 0 0.01, that's a very low spread, so this is a candidate for the highest precision. 1.34 to 1.40, so this one is a spread of 0 0.06. And this one has a spread because the lowest value and the highest value, the spread is 0 0.08. So I'm going to say 0 0.300, and the reason is because it has the smallest range of values. Okay. Um, why did the student do? Three tests and calculate the mean. Okay, so I, common sense, sort of sciencey common sense, would say to avoid to spot anomalies, to spot anomalies and have a chance to remove them. Um, it also would increase the. Uh, accuracy of the results. Now actually I'm kind of committing a bit of a sin here. If it's only worth one mark and I've put down two things, I should really put down what I think is my best guess. My best option, because if I put down two things and one of them's wrong, I could lose a mark for that. Now I'm going to come back to that. Write an equation that links current, potential difference and resistance. Mr. Ohm, Ohm's law. Apostrophe. See that, Mr. Uh, Mr. English teachers. So Ohm's law would be V equals I R. Okay. The potential difference across a piece of wire is two point one volts. The current is three amps. Calculate the resistance of the wire. Write any equation you use. So you wouldn't be given this equation. You you're getting immediately an opportunity to uh, gain marks just for memory here. Knowing the equation Ohm's law, V equals I R, where I is current, R is resistance, and V is voltage. And then again, you're going to get another mark for, for using it here. So definitely you need to learn some equations. Okay, so what's it asking for? Resistance. So V equals I R. Okay, so rearrange for resistance. I personally would divide both sides by R, which cancels here. Or if you've got V equals I R and you want it in a formula triangle, the timesing bits go on the bottom, and then the other one goes on top. And then you cover up what you want, 
R in this case, you've got V divided by I. So if I sub in the numbers, oh, I'm after R. I did my rearrangement wrong. I would divide both sides by I. R equals V over I. Okay, now sub the numbers in. 2.1 divided by 0 0.3. Two point one divided by point three seven ohms. Okay, next question. What is the label for each axis of the graph? Right. We changed length. That was the independent variable. So on the x axis in the bottom that would be length. And it was in meters, I think. Check. Length in meters, and then the rest is resistance in ohms. R in ohms, okay. So x axis along the corridor x up the stairs y. That's how my math teacher taught me at school to remember them. So x is length in meters and y is resistance and it's in ohms. What can we? What can conclu conclusion can be made from the graph in Figure Two? Right, a couple of things. It starts at the origin, so it is directly proportional. Well, it starts at the origin and it's a straight line, so it's directly proportional. So resistance, resistance, is directly proportional, proportional to length. I suppose an easy way of saying it, if you you don't like the word proportional, is to say as resistance increases, so does length. Okay, and that's question one. I hope you've um, found this video useful. If you have any comments, uh, suggestions, or anything else, please um, please comment, like, subscribe, share, etc. All that business, you know the usual stuff. Thanks for watching.